welcome to bsc statistics students now in this lesson i explain one problem which is related to two particular tests t test for difference of means and pair t test for difference of means you see the problem this is a small sample test again two foods a and b have applied on eight cows the following results of increase in weights are observed in the cows this is what the data this is the number of the cows 1 2 3 4 8 uh, up to 8 the increase in the weight due to the food a and food b two types of foods have been applied and how much uh, weight was increased that that was uh, given in this particular problem the data is given in the problem according to food a these are the uh, increase in the weight 49 53 51 etc according to that is uh, due to the food b that these are the weights uh, gain in the weights uh, increase in the weights uh, uh, according to the food b or uh, due to the food b 52 55 etc these are the readings are given now there are two questions you see question number 1 assuming that two samples of cows are independent can we conclude that food b is better than food a the first question is uh, uh, t test for difference of means or t test for two means simply because they are independent but if the sample observations are independent then uh, we have to use uh, t test for difference of means you please remember there are the samples two samples are uh, Uh, drawn randomly from the two populations respectively that is what uh, assumption in the t test for difference of means that first one they are independent that is sample observations are independent two samples are independent sample one is independent from sample two like the second one examine the case when the same set of eight cows are used in both the food a and b that is if you consider same set of eight uh, cows and uh, food a is applied first and then food b is applied and the weight was uh, observed the increase in the weight was observed so this is these are the two particular cases if you say these are two particular cases this is uh, second case is uh, one sample is uh, depending on the other sample one sample depends on another one obviously in the first one samples are ind independent in this way you apply the t test for difference of means in the second sample case that is second case thus when the sample observation samples two samples are when the two samples are dependent same set of eight cows are used then sa two samples are dependent not independent in that case we have to use pair t test for difference of means now i hope you understand uh, uh, quickly we can do the problem now so this is what i have explained uh, between the two particular uh, uh, cases in two particular tests how how we use uh, two particular tests on two particular cases so given that n1 is equal to n2 is equal to 8 it is equal to n is equal to n is equal to 8 that is what uh, fixed in both the problems and null hypothesis x not mu1 is equal to mu2 that is uh, there is no significant uh, increase in the weights of the cows due to the food a and food b whatever the for both the problems we can consider this null hypothesis do not change null hypothesis is same that is uh, there is no significant increase it was not increased significantly it was not significantly increased in the weights of the cows due to the food a and food b that is the h not mu1 is equal to mu2 null hypothesis alternative hypothesis h1 mu1 less than mu2 that is mu2 is more Uh, mu2 is more there is a significant increase uh, means food b is better than food a that is it represents food b the weight uh, increase average in weight increased uh, of the cows uh, in the second population this is uh, mu mu1 in the first population that is due to the food food a this is due to food b if you consider two particular populations uh, then mu1 is less than mu2 which means mu2 is more that is food b is better than food a 
food b is better than food a that is what uh, we consider in general from the two populations there is a significant increase means food b is better than food a hope you understand i hope you understand uh, this this uh, logic uh, now you, you see this is what uh, alternative hypothesis therefore it is one tile test mu1 less than mu2 mu2 is more therefore it is one tile test now two cases consider two cases case 1 that is uh, problem number 1 if two samples of cows are independent sigma 1 sigma 2 not known both the cases sigma 1 sigma 2 not known but the second case uh, that the second problem uh, we uh, we apply the parity test for difference of means if you see the case 1 that is the first problem if two samples of cows are independent then here uh, sigma 1 sigma 2 are not known in this case what we are to do test a statistic under h naught so that is null and alternative hypothesis we have written commonly and now we are consider we have considered the first uh, problem okay they are independent in which uh, the test statistic becomes so t is equal to x bar minus y bar divided by s into square root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 because uh, sigma is not known sigma 1 sigma 2 are not known which follows t n1 plus n2 minus 2 okay what you have to calculate we have to calculate the sample values that is x bar y bar s1 square s2 square etc all the values sample values you have to calculate sample means sample variances sample standard deviations etc these are the things you have, you have to calculate xi so you have to consider xi square y, yj yj square so xi values a square the value 49 square 53 square square the value of say square you will get it and similarly yj value the values of second uh, mm, uh, sample second sample that is uh, due to food b yj values 52 square yj square 55 square etc all the values square the values you will get uh, xi xi square yj yj square after that get the total summation xi i is equal to 1 to n1 summation xi square summation yj j is equal to 1 to n2 summation yj square that is totals all the four all four totals then you calculate x bar x bar is 1 by n1 summation xi that is summation xi divided by n1 407 divided by 8 this is x summation xi 50.875 like that you calculate the values Okay, any difference you please take the uh, clear value correct value and y bar 1 by n2 summation yj summation yj j is equal to 1 to n2 summation yj is 423 divided by 8 n2 is 8 and is also 8 52.875 and then you calculate s1 square s2 square the sample variances 1 by n1 summation xi square minus x bar whole square so summation xi square it is nothing but uh, 20,737 divided by 8 minus x bar whole square 50.875 whole square so some 3.86 the value similarly s2 square 1 by n2 summation j is equal to 1 to n2 yj square minus y bar whole square 22,383 divided by 8 minus 52.875 whole square so some particular value got 2.11 from this you have to calculate capital S what is capital S square root of n1 s1 square plus n2 s2 square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 that is n1 substitute the values 8 s1 square 3.86 plus n2 8 s2 square 2.11 divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 8 plus 8 minus 2 so some near value 1.85 we got to check the value and uh, now you calculate value of t test a statistic under h0 t is equal to x bar minus y bar by s yes into square root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 what is capital s 1.85 x bar y bar 50.875 minus 52.875 divided by capital s into square root of 1 by n1 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 1 by n2 1 by 8 so finally if you solve this value if you calculate this value you will get some particular minus 2.16 now comparison and conclusion inference and the comparison and conclusion what do you have? Modulus of calculate modulus of t first. It is 2.16 because of modulus minus becomes plus 2.16. Next, uh, 
tabulated value or significant value t alpha comma n1 plus minus n1 plus n2 minus 2 t5 percent comma 14 at uh, one tile test or for one tile test for one tile test or five at five percent level of significance and n1 plus n2 minus 2 14 degrees of freedom that is 1.761 therefore to compare these two modulus of t 2.16 T5% comma 14, 1.761 from the T tables. Therefore, 2.16 is greater than 1.761. That is uh, modulus of T, it is greater than T alpha comma n1 plus n2 minus 2, which implies H0 is rejected. That is H1 is accepted. What is H1? Alternative hypothesis, food B is better than food A. Therefore, food B is better than food A. Means there is a significant increase in the weights. That is, uh, there is a significant increase in the weights. So, that is a conclusion from the first problem, uh, from the first test, for the first problem, right? So, second problem, what is the second problem? You see here the problem, if the same set of 8 cows is used in the both the samples, the two samples of cows are not independent, that is what I have discussed. We apply the pair T test for difference of means, that is what you have to write clearly and then you have to start the test. Already we have considered null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis uh, and then now we have to go for the calculation point of view that is uh, third point test statistic under H0 for which uh, you have to calculate Xi and uh, Yi the two ob observations which are dependent and we have to consider Xi and Yi there we have considered Xi and Yz here we have considered Xi and Yi. And then calculate di is equal to xi minus yi, 49 minus 52, 53 minus 55, etc. I calculate deviation, di. And then also calculate di square, minus 3 whole square, minus 2 whole square, minus 1 whole square, etc. You calculate all the for all the values, di square. And then uh, get the totals, summation di, summation i is equal to 1 to n di. Summation i is equal to 1 to n di square. Summation totals of di and di square. Summation di, summation di square. Calculate the value. And d bar, d bar is uh, the mean value of the deviations. Then you calculate uh, d bar and s square s. d bar, 1 by n summation di. What is summation di? It is minus 16. Divided by n is 8. So minus 2. This is one value. S square, 1 by n summation di square minus d bar whole square. So, uh, that is uh, the variance, the variance or sample variance for d. So, it is 44 by 8, summation di square 44 divided by n 8 minus d bar, it is minus 2 whole square, it is 1.5, approximately the value is 1.5. And then s is equal to square root of s square, this is 1.5, it is 1.22. Now, test a statistic under H0. You see here, test a statistic under H0. That is, uh, t is equal to d bar by small s by square root of n minus 1, which follows t n minus 1. In the pair t test for difference of means, we have this particular test statistic. It is substitute the values d bar minus 2, s 1.22 divided by square root of n, that is 8, 8 minus 1, is equal to minus 4.34. This is the value. And come to the last point, comparison and conclusion or inference. In inference, we consider modulus of t, that is 4.34 plus. And then t alpha comma n minus 1, that is tabulated value or significant value. t 5 percent comma alpha is 5 percent, we have considered n minus 1, 7, 8 minus 1. So, t 5 percent comma 7 at the one tile test, for one tile test and from t tables, student t tables. From student t tables, we have the tabulated value 2.015. Compare these two. 4.34 is greater than 2.015. That is, uh, modulus of t is greater than t alpha comma n minus 1. That is t 5 percent comma 7, which implies h naught is rejected. That is, h1 is accepted. That is, uh, from the second uh, uh, test procedure. Also, we are uh, rejecting H0. Food, that is, food uh, accepting, uh, we, are, we have accepted H1, that is. H1 is food B is better than food A, which means there is a significant increase in the weights of the cows. 
Definitely after giving some certain foods, food, food A and food B, uh, the, the weight is uh, increased. The increase in the weight is observed. Hope you understand this is what food B is better than food A. That is what our conclusion in particularly. Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.